Welcome along, guys. Well, <laughs> it's another new bike video. What the hell is going on? Well, this is actually my bike. This isn't a loan bike. This isn't a long-termer. This is purchased with my own fair money. So this is something I've had a couple of weeks, but it's taken me uh, two or three weeks to actually bring the video to you for various technical difficulties. Every time I go out and try and record this video, <laughs> the SD card doesn't work or the audio is terrible. So, well, hopefully this is a video which will actually make it to YouTube. So this is my new bike. I've sold Beastie. As some of you all know, Beastie is sold. So with the money from Beastie, I've bought myself a dirt bike. <laughs> what the hell? You may be saying, why have you bought a dirt bike? Why have you sold Beastie to buy a bloody dirt bike? So this is a KTM 500 EXC six days, 2017 model. Um, the, 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 it's the six days version, basically has a lot of the power parts bits as standard, like the, the orange triple clamps, um, the, 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 the map switch button with the traction control, preload adjusters, there's a few few extras you get on the six days. Now I was looking at a brand new bike, but I was, I'm not spending eight grand. I'm not spending eight grand on a, on, on a bike like this. So this one came up 200 miles on the clock, about 10 hours. So it was, it was ideal. So at the moment this has the full on knobblies on it which I'm actually finding not too bad for road riding. If you go out in the wet, it's lethal. <laughs> but in the dry, these things give an amazing amount of grip, you know. And uh, I've, I've sort of questioned whether I want to even get any Supermoto wheels on it. But I've decided I will. And I've actually gone and got myself a set of uh, SM Pro 17-inch um, Supermoto wheels in a really taste orange hubs and black and orange fade rims. I had to get the bling ones. But in the meantime, I've just really been enjoying it <laughs> on the uh, on the knobblies. If you're brave with them, they give an amazing amount of grip even on tarmac. I think they won't last very long is the problem. They wear out very, very quickly. Evening. So I'm going to do another little build series of of modding this. Wheels going on first. I've got some bling for Mud Pig Racing to go on. I'm going to get a brake set up for it as well, a road-based brake set up. We could do it there actually. That's a good spot. Let's spin it around. But I want to be able to use this off-road as well. That's the trouble. I don't want to just restrict myself to going on the road. I want to be able to chuck these wheels back on without too much grief and use it as an off-road machine. Right, let's just, let's just give you a little, a little squidgy, a little, let's, give you a little, let's give you a little walk around it. 2017, six days, um, 500 EXC, completely stock. This is, this is how they come more or less. It's got the water pump cover and it's also got the clutch, duh, 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 yeah, the clutch slave cover. Apart from that, I think it's completely stock, six days. But it's pretty clean, you know, it's, it's got a few little marks, which I've done most of these, where your boot's just on these, it's just, but that's what they're there for. That's what they're there for. I'm not going to be too precious about it. This bike is to be used, you know, it's got some tiny little, little hairline mark, but I'm not, I'm not getting carried away with it. It's, it's to use on the road, it's to use off-road. <laughs> what we got ourselves into now? <laughs> Wow, that's impressive mate. Just to have fun with. It's not like the 701 was, where it was just kept immaculately clean. You know, it, it, it got in the way of the, the fun you could have with the bike. The, the Six Days has these billet triples or, or yokes. Oh, it also has adjustable preload adjusters on the, on the forks. The standard one doesn't have adjustable preload. I don't know why KTM don't stick preload on their suspension, but it's an extra and it comes, comes standard on this. Six, six adjustment on preload. Um, I think the six days also comes with this like quick release spindle to pull out. I don't think that's, I think that's standard on them. Orange frame also on the six days. You've got to have an orange frame, haven't you? I know the 2019 models have an orange frame standard now. 
It's just, it's just got those little extras which saves you having to splash out on them. I know people will say, why the hell have you sold that beautiful sports bike to get a dirt bike? I know people are going to think that, and they're going to think I'm absolutely mental for selling the blade. But I've had it for four, five years now. I just wasn't using it. I nearly sold it last year. Change of mind at the last minute. I should have sold it last year. It hasn't really been used since last year. It just sits in the garage, gathering dust. The people who've bought it, let's get back out on the road again. The guy who's bought it is the owner, or one of the, I don't know if he's the sole owner, but one of the owners of BE Moto, the insurance company. And I've seen some people have been posting up pictures of it because they've seen it at shows already. It was at the MCN festival the other week. Let's put the goggles back on. Oh, goggles up. It was at the MCN Festival a couple of weeks ago, and I know people have posted pictures on social media where they've seen it out and about. Well, that's who's bought it, BE Moto. But the bike's going to be taken around shows on the BE Moto stand. It's going to be like their flagship bike, if you like. You know, you see advertising a BE Moto, it'll probably have the blade as part of the advert. So it's going to be represent their, their brand, really, which is a lovely place for it to go to because you guys get to see it if you want to. Go to any show where BE Moto has got a stall and uh, the blade will be there. So that's a real nice nice place for it to go. So I'm really happy with that. Oh, it's, it's such a different way of riding one of these. These are so light, 107 kilos is what this, weigh, what this weighs. About 55-ish horsepower, something like that can unleash a bit more with a, a decent exhaust system on it, which I do want to get, but for the moment, she's stock. Stock as they come. It's a little bit flat at the bottom end, I've noticed. It's got that bit of Euro 4 initial flatness, which I'm sure the exhaust will probably clear. <laughs> But it's just such fun, such fun. And that's not even going off-road, <laughs> just on the road it's fun. The big disadvantage to these, and why you don't see more of these on the road, is what I mentioned when I reviewed one of these end of last year. If you remember, I had one of these for a couple of weeks from KTM, and I loved it. But the drawback is, and why you don't see more people with them, is because you have to change the oil every 17 hours that's hours not not 1700 miles every 17 hours of use you have to change the oil now that puts and it, it, sorry it's not just the oil change it's also a valve check so every 17 hours you have to take it apart take the rocker off inspect your valve clearances and if they're out of if they're out of range, you then have to re-shim them to get them back with intolerance. So there is some getting your hands dirty one of these. It's not a, a buy it like the 701. You buy it and you go in for service every 6,000 miles. No, you have to get dirty one of these bikes in more ways than one. So the valve check is a thing which puts a lot of people off. Understandably, I don't mind so much tackling that myself. I had the Duke in bits the other week because they needed a valve inspection after after Spain. So that, I've just done that on the Duke and that's a twin. It's just damn so more complicated than this. And from what people have said, as long as you change the oil on these, now that, the valves very, very rarely need adjusting. Way! And for the oil change, it only holds 1.2 litres of oil. So just to drop the oil, and there's a single filter, you're not talking much money. And it'll probably take me two, three months to, to clock up 17 hours on this anyway, so it's absolutely irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. When you're not going to want to commute on it, don't get me wrong. But for what I want it for, for dicking, it's perfect. So if anyone knows, you know, a fair bit about these bikes and wants to advise on some mods, let me know, because I'm all ears about what can be done to these to make them a bit more powerful and just do 
be cooler. So I'm open to ideas for modding it. So let me know. The blade is gone. This is the new blade replacement. So I'm fully <laughs> Team KTM now. That's not on purpose. I did think of getting the Husky 500 or the 501 as it calls, but this one just came up at the right money. So this is what I've got another KTM. I'm not sponsored by KTM. They're not, they're not paying me to have their bikes. It's just, they make great bikes. <laughs> it's just they make good bikes, it's just not my fault. Other bikes are available. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo! That were close. That were close, that were. You want to go and... Um Get that turd out of your pants. <laughs> <laughs>